Lesson 2.3b, Writing a Small Number in Scientific Notation. To write a number that is less than 1 in scientific notation, move the decimal point right and use a negative exponent. We have 0 0.098. To write it in scientific notation, we move the decimal point right, 1, 2 hops. It's going to be 9.8 times 10 to the negative second power. We move the decimal point to the right, so it's between a number in the new ones place and the new tenths place. It's in between there. We write it to a power of 10 that's negative because this number is larger than this original number. When the number is between 0 and 1, we use a negative exponent. We have 0 0.098. It's between 0 and 1 on a number line. Here's 0. Here's 1. This is about 1 one hundredth. It would be about right here on a number line, so it is greater than 0 and less than 1. So to write it in scientific notation, the power of 10 will be negative. The decimal point moves two places to the right. We get 9.8 times 10 to the negative second power. A typical monarch butterfly egg is approximately 0 0.0009 meter wide. We need to write this in scientific notation. Step one, we move the decimal point. One, two, three, four to back here. We move the decimal point as many places as necessary to find a number that is 1 or greater but less than 10. And 9 is greater than 1 and less than 10. So we know we got 9. Step 2 is we count the number of places we move the decimal point. It was 4. Step 3, we multiply 9 times a negative power of 10 since we moved the decimal point to the right. It was four hops, so it's going to be negative four. So to write this in scientific notation, we get nine times 10 to the negative fourth power meters. When we write a number that is less than one in scientific notation, the power of 10 will be different from when we write a number greater than one in scientific notation. The exponent will be negative instead of positive. So, as I said before, when the number is between 0 and 1, so that means it's less than 1 and greater than 0 in this yellow area, the exponent will be negative when we write the number in scientific notation. Here it's telling us to write this very small number in scientific notation. Here's our decimal point. We count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 hops to get the decimal point between the 7 and the 3. Since the number is less than 1 and our decimal moved right, our exponent will be negative. It's going to be negative 6. We write the number times a negative power of 10. We have 7.38 times 10 to the negative 6th power. 7 and 38 hundredths times 10 to the negative 6th power. On a calculator, we can enter the number 0 point 10 zeros, then a 99. There's 10 zeros after the decimal point, then 99. If we push enter, we'll see 9.9 .9 with a capital E and a negative 11 on the screen. This is the calculator's way of showing 9.9 .9 times 10 to the negative 11th power. We have 9.9 .9 times 10 to the negative 11th power. And the calculator will use E if the very small number that we input has three zeros or more to the right of the decimal point. If there are three zeros or more to the right of the decimal point, we will see the E. If we put in 0 0.09 and hit enter, well, the calculator is just going to show 0 0.09. And if we put in 0 0.00920s to the right of the decimal point and hit enter, we're just going to see the same thing with two zeros to the right of the decimal point. As soon as we put in three zeros and then a digit and hit enter, we're going to see that digit with a capital E and a minus four. 
and if we put in four zeros in a digit, then hit Enter, we're going to see that digit with the capital E with a minus 5. This means 9 times 10 to the negative 4th power. This means 9 times 10 to the negative 5th power. Be careful. Don't write the wrong exponent. First predict how the answer will look. If we have 0 0.000002, that's a very small number. When we multiply 2.0 times a power of 10, because we're going to move the decimal point and go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and it's going to go here. When we multiply that 2.0 or 2 times a power of 10, the exponent must be negative to equal this very small value. Let's make sure we understand. Here we've got a zero, a decimal point, and six hops to get in between this eight and this one. We're going to get 8.13. We ask ourselves, have we made this original number larger or smaller? This is the original number with the decimal point and all these zeros, and look at, we have 8.13. So we've made it larger. This means if we multiply by a power of 10, the sign of our exponent should be negative. In scientific notation, we'll have 8.13 times 10 raised to the negative 6th power. We finished Part B. We're going to move on to Part C, writing a small number in standard notation. I hope your day is going well, and I hope you join me for the next part of the lesson. Bye.